pronunciation. You got me. You got me. And why so does that's why fridge? You... Why does fridge have a D but refrigerator doesn't? Asking the real huh. question. Hmm. Good point. We'll never know. More so questions we... that Peppy can't answer. <laughs> We got four matches coming up in this box. I wonder who we're gonna see. I feel like Philippines and Portugal would be pretty cool. Yeah, I think that might actually end up being a surprisingly close match, since Philippines does have one particularly strong player in Pachanko. But yeah, just looking at it, okay, it's so nice to see that the whole group stage is not sweeps. This is, this is beautiful. Yeah, but this is great. I can't, I couldn't have asked for much more. And even, uh, two upsets, I think, with Poland and Spain representing the left side. Nice, we're gonna be looking at Philippines and Portugal. Let's go. Let's go, the two Ps. And Poland is not a P. Well. <laughs> Alright, knowing that Baby Snakes is on Portugal, I expect to see some top quality warm ups. Yeah, I think um, they were showing a screenshot earlier. I think maybe I saw it on Twitter or something. Where uh, one of the Portuguese team uh, members showed a screenshot of their warm up with a lot of green light. Oh, very nice. So hopefully this year we're not going to be stuck on their warm-up for hours upon hours. Dude, I actually kind of want to watch China versus Sweden, because China's just OP. Yeah, I think China has a pretty fair shot of winning. It's a bit unfortunate that those two matches are happening at the same time, but... Yo, Jai, Nido King says that he wants a uh, re-mutual. Are oh, you gonna yeah, do it? Yeah. Uh, I'll consider it, I'll consider it, but, you know, my, uh, there's a huge queue to be my mutual. Understandable. And at this point, I am accepting uh, reservations paid, of course. You're just that famous, yeah. I am. I'm just that well-known. Do you also like... Okay, let's say a package arrives for you. Do you, like, refuse to sign because then your signature loses value? Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. Now, I just make sure that I only do uh, my initials. And I don't give out my actual signature. Even on my passport. Understandable. No, it's all about supply and demand. There's a lot of demand, but I'm not giving out any supply. Oh nice, we got some DJ Toto for warm-up. Always nice to hear. Yo, somebody said Taiko team led by Ono, but I'll have you know there was a Taiko team led by Ono in like 2016 LMS. It was Team oh. Gemma, the German Elite Mashes Alliance. And I'll never forget the team because it's the first team that Australia ever beat in the tournament <laughs> in Taiko. Yeah, uh, by far the best German team to have ever existed. Team Gemma was great. Yo, it had Taiko Slaxy. That guy is a legend. Didn't they have Mew? Or am I thinking of another German team? No, no, there were two German teams. So, oh. yeah. Well, Ono did end up getting his revenge in uh, the 2017 yeah, we can't, uh, we, we can't segue to buying banners because they're not out yet, unfortunately, but we'd love... Yeah, but if you'd like to reserve a banner, uh, you can just write it down on your calendar or something.
If you'd like to reserve a mutual with Jai, uh, they're also $2.50. Oh, yeah, also $2.50. It will not be going towards the prize pool, though. Alright, it's nice to see Philippines again. It's been a while since they've been in a World Cup. Yeah, I actually don't remember the last time they've been in it, but it was a long time, I think. I mean, the roster's going to be very different from the days that I remember with Senka. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, that poor guy. I remember on his profile for a while he had 2014 I played in Tiger World Cup, 2015 I was captain, and 2016 I messed it all up and then he disappeared. Oh no. You never want to see something like that. Rest in peace, Senkai. But now we've got a new hard rock god, Pachaka. Well, I say new, but he's been around for years. Yeah, though I don't think he's... Has he played in a World Cup before? Um, oh, good question. I'm not actually sure. I know he's played in LMS twice on the Indonesian team. Yeah. And I'm That's guessing... it, he definitely, he definitely has tournament experience. Wait, is what I'm wait. Saying. I, I could be dreaming, but was there just a small part of Ether Ritual in that warm-up? Uh, no, it was just you. Uh, alright. I'm guessing since this warm-up is pretty normal, that it is the Philippines. Uh, I see Mioth has given up. Oh, oh. no. Oh. This, oh, oh no. no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Cursed map. Why have you done this? And, uh, Meowthcat? I think that's how it's pronounced. Not really bothered playing. I don't think I would either after seeing uh Oh my god. Oh no. That's not Nog. That isn't so Nog, I guess but... Anytime you see 1 8th Dobler, it's just PTSD. Well, certainly an interesting warm up. Oh, that's 8 stars. Oh, so it is Nog. <laughs> mapping done right, ladies and gentlemen. That's super high quality mapping. An eight star full combo. Actually, I'm looking at the axe from Nero and Pachaco. They're pretty good. Costa Rino actually did pretty well, too. Yeah, and I think Meowcat was doing pretty well until you uh, decided he did not want to participate in the Double It's Fest. He was doing well and then. He saw Nog and got so shocked that he he physically could not play. <laughs> There's some sort of PTSD for Nog. Alright, well that would be Philippines warm-up, so uh, let's see what madness the Portuguese have conjured up. Dude, I love it. I love a good shitposting team. I'm honestly kind of scared. Both scared and excited to see what their warm-up is going to be. No, I'm excited. I wonder if it's going to be a meme map or just a meme song. Almost with a normal certainly one. both. It is probably going to be both. And I don't think my brain is nearly large enough for me to understand just the scope of what they're going to end up picking. What really gets me here is that a team that has Pachaco on it is unseated. Like, gee. Yeah, that's hard. But another thing to mention here is that Portugal and Philippines are literally right next to each other in seeding. Like, Portugal's the lowest of uh, the low seeds, and Philippines is the, the highest of the unseeded. So, I'm looking forward to This is hopefully going to be really fun. 
Oh, I don't know how to cheer for. All right, no commentator bias today. Absolutely none. I think if Portugal ends up having the higher quality warm up, or I guess the lower quality warm up, depending on how you're uh, judging it, <laughs> I will know who to cheer for. I'm expecting good things from Portugal's warm up. Well, good is a relative term. I'm expecting amazing things from their warm up. Yeah, there we go. If nothing else, it will be entertaining. I'm expecting a pulchritudinous warm up. Man, imagine having to change the difficulty of your map because nobody knows what Polkatudin is. Yeah. Yeah. I like fancy diff names on maps, especially when they're just really obscure references or just yeah. a word that no one, nobody knows. Yeah, yo, reminder that Galaxy Collapse is not an inner Oni, it's just an Oni. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do we get host or just link? Come on, baby. Come on, I expected uh, more from you. Well, they're definitely making us uh, wait and savor the time we have before our, our uh, ears and senses get completely bombarded with Portugal's warp. Yeah, true. Yeah, he's not getting host, but nice try. <laughs> Yo, what's Love Smacker uh, the filter of? I can't remember. I... don't remember. Oh, actually, no, I think I... Oh, I think I, I think I... I think I know. Very nice. Very nice, Perkolit. Reminder when, um... Oh, what was it? I think it was Dank was uh, filtered to something else, and then some of the, like, Norse countries were like, but we used that to say thank you. Could you oh. please do? <laughs> At this point, I think it's practically tradition for uh, Portugal to kind of go at a leisurely pace yeah, what's the rush? Absolutely no rush. It's not like there's a match to get to or anything. <laughs> We're still mapping it. Nice. They're still mapping the warm up. <laughs> hey, can you actually map things while you're in the tournament server? Can you upload while in the tournaments? Dude, these are real big brain questions. These are questions. real questions that Portugal is taking upon themselves to answer. Jeez. The real heroes. I've never seen this before. This is great. Oh. Here we go. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> well, <laughs> well worth the wait. Oh, this is beautiful already. Yo, reminder guys that Will Stetson will do a cover of this. <laughs> I only hope that the map will match up to the song. Yo, what's that cursor doing? You get that out of here. Why does this exist? Why doesn't it exist is a better question. You're right. Or why didn't it exist sooner? Don't worry, alright? If you think life is depressing, just remember that the universe has existed for X billion years just for this to exist. Born too early to explore space. Born too late to explore the dinosaurs. 
teleport just in time to experience Portugal picking Diamond to Cosita in Taika World Cup 29. Uh, life is worth living again. This is beautiful. Yo, what's the star rating for this? I gotta know. I'm guessing anywhere between 4 stars to 10 stars. Dame to star rating. It is probably 9 stars. Nog 2.0. In Portugal, making sure that even after picking the warm-up, we're still getting plenty of time to experience the song. Oh, of course. It's like when Malaysia chose um, Mope Mope last yeah. year, and we were stuck on it for like 20 minutes. Yeah, or when Portugal chose their warm-up and we were stuck on it for like 20 minutes. <laughs> Uh, apparently, it is only 7.32 stars. Slightly disappointed. Which means that it's probably not just copy paste Nog. Um, Nog is more than 7.3 and it's copy paste Nog. Fair enough. There's a chance. <laughs> I wonder if uh, it's because of downloading issues right now. Ah, Southeast Asia internet. Beautiful. Apparently, Pochaka's internet does not want to download this map. This song is illegal in the Philippines. <laughs> it's like when uh, Wilbin Chan took like 10 minutes to download the Australian warm-up because it's banned in their country. <laughs> Hopefully the ban will get lifted soon. Because there's only so long that I want to listen to this map for. No, you get. Eventually, you'll just end up singing along and you won't even notice. That is true. I'll probably end up singing it. In... Probably do the dance too. Yeah. And I hope, uh. I hope the actual match is going to go a bit more quickly. Oh wow, what a what a background. Yo, he's shirtless. Is this is this background too suggestive? I don't know. That's uh check it off the bingo card anyway. <laughs> Oh, it's alright. On stream, we only see the mouth. Yeah, and like oh, half a thumbs up. God. Wait, what is that? Those, those are not singles. This is beautiful. Well, that's a... Quality 2019 mapping. Portugal is missing! Oh, well, Meow has just given up. <laughs> well, if there's any place where you just want to have fun and enjoy the music, it is going to be the warm-ups. <laughs> and Baby Snake's playing every single note like it's a 1 8 doublet. Uh, Baby Snakes is just streaming. He's freestyling. <laughs> Very impressive lead by Philippi. Oh my gosh, we're only halfway through the song. Oh my god. How long is this? This is beautiful. I, I am really glad I waited for this. <laughs> he had no choice. But this, this count is, as a hostage situation. Yeah, this is the real Cosmic Minds play right here. Oh, that was... 
I'm really glad that we get to see this over and over. Imagine not being able to map this in time, it's just copy-paste, what are you doing, Mio? Actually, I don't even think he's gonna pass at this rate. Well, it is a uh, seven-star map, so that's understandable. Yeah. It is quite difficult, especially when we've got a low seed here. And uh, according to the chat, apparently Meowthcow was actually playing Ether Ritual for a majority of the map. Good. So, so that's something. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Yo, by the way, I'm taking uh, I'm taking lyrics and I'm taking sound samples for Cosmic Minds, so I can uh, have a perfect translation. If anybody's got any knowledge, I will happily take it. Uh, are you listing out all the lyrics? I've I've done my best to do that. I wish I had enough dedication for something like that. It took so much research. I'm being, if I'm being honest, I did not even realize it was English the first time I played the map. But I mean, that's mostly just because it's not I'm really all bad at English. It. There's like there's Indian in it. There is. Yeah, that's the. It's like the. It's like the chanting. Ah. Uh. Oh, and another close roll. So what is what is going on? These rolls are in the top quartile. Yeah, they're all practicing their roles. So from the previous match, we had 99, 98, and now uh, 76 and 82. Looking good. All right, I have... Um, okay, well, there goes Igamoyas. Um, I mean, it's a fair enough ban, but I'm pretty sure Portugal's a bit weak on HD as well. Yeah, maybe they're just really bad on hidden. Understandable, Igamayas has some weird snappings. Yeah, I wonder what Portugal is gonna go for for the ban. Never mind, you don't have to wonder for very long because they banned Arabian Knights. DDKK Arabian Knight. players can't act. <laughs> Actually, that slightly bothers me because Baby Snakes, I swear, is a hard rock in the DT player. Yeah, it could be that because of the Axie requirements, they're not as confident. And Pochaco is a pretty good hard rock player as well, so maybe they're That's a bit true. Yeah, yeah, very true. And hopefully we won't wait too long for the pick. I'm guessing they're gonna go for... Actually, I'm not sure what they're gonna go for. Apparently, SS isn't good enough to beat Pachaco. <laughs> well, I think there is still an ongoing uh, one month supporter prize for an SS on Arabian Rave Night. I think it'll say. You also, shout outs to the sound clip that Law uses in this section. Oh, beautiful. I love video game references. <laughs> All the songs in this pool are very nice. Absolute dangers. Oh, okay. Well, Cosmic Minds is first, apparently. Nice. Gimmick to... And apparently it's called Gimmick No One Map. The and the uh, LNO map. That's kind of surprising. I would have expected maybe something like, I don't know, Del Rio? Maybe not Del Rio, but the other Hard Rock? Oh, Alright, peace out, Mio. We're gonna have Baby Snakes and Costa Reno in. Pachaka and Nero are gonna stay in the Philippines, but it looks... 
Ah yes, Cosmic Invaders. No, uh, no, they picked Cosmic Mines, the uh, tiebreaker, as their first pick. Oh, I wish. Imagine if you could just pick the tiebreaker. We would. Ah, uh, I would have done it against my team's wishes. Getting absolutely baited because there are two cosmic songs in the pool. Yeah, they just did that to spite the commentators. Yeah, they probably. Oh man, Sayonara Cosmonaut could have happened too. Oh yeah. Please put that in the finals pool. Please. Alright, here we go. First actual map of this match. Oh, oh, there, there we, we go. go. Yeah, Cross that's, that's another one box on the, on the bingo. That's on the bingo card, boys. It was only oh. a matter of time. Yeah, we're only three and a half hours into the World Cup, and uh, there we go. I'll just consider that's pretty good. And yeah, we still have two SS's. Oh, no. Baby Snake's absolutely beautiful act. I'm not doing amazingly, but it's still too early to tell. Actually, because he's a DDKK player, I'd like to see if he hits all the finishes in the 7th flip. And he does! Oh, well, that's not the 7th flip, but maybe it's time for things to come. He, he can hit these runs. DT player and all. Or oh, maybe not. Well, that's, a, that's a choke. Well, he hit one of them. And 50% hey. is... Oh. Philippines in the lead so far. Oh, that was very interesting. Was that a real miss? Uh, I'm guessing the scores are still really close though. No, okay. Oh, that no, was, it was uh, not. That, that was a fake miss. Thanks, client. It's just testing our uh, commentator ability. I'm kind of surprised that Baby Snakes is uh, not doing slightly better in terms of consistency. Nah, it's Portugal. They just they just picked the map for the meme. Oh yeah, that's true. There aren't too many countries that are just meme incarnate, but I think Portugal might be one of them. All right, finish the time. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh Baby Snakes actually does, does okay. and he has uh, too. I mean, this score gap is going to be interesting to see if it closes. Yeah, and although there's definitely a possibility with the ending finishers, it's a tall hill to climb. I mean, Pachaka is just, well, there he goes, he misses. He well, had 99.83, but... It, Come to the curse doesn't exist. It doesn't but, exist. I mean, look, he's getting uh, lots of misses, and I'm not cursing. It's still okay even after that with a I solid 36,000 point advantage. Portug Portugal just climbed 40k points off that ending, but it wasn't enough. They were close. Maybe if that uh, finished section was copy-pasted one more time. But the Philippines right now, the low-seeded team... Or wait, unseeded team. Dude, why are they called unseeded? Technically yeah. they're seeded into yeah, the lowest group. You which is called unseeded. unseeded. You can't be unseeded if we'll, you're seeded. You can't, yeah, you can't be unseeded if you're in a seed. They're, they're seeded 25th, but they're unseeded. Excuse me? <laughs> Shaking my head so hard. Like, okay, so you've got... You've got top, high, low, unseeded. So high and low are opposites, but top and unseeded are not opposites. Yeah, why isn't it bottom? Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the World Cup, where we just... Yeah, we should probably concentrate on the match more. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. And Philippines taking a, an early breakpoint away from Portugal. I mean, Philippines is the strongest unseeded team, do remember that. And Portugal oh, and is they the... they picked El Rio. Nice! They actually picked the speed, in air quotes, map. 
And it should be noted that even though Philippines is unseated, as stated earlier, they're the high seated, high seated, unseated team. It wow, makes no sense. Oh my gosh. That's the sentence high, and a half. The highest seated, unseated team. And their top two is actually, uh, I think they have an average rank of 300, which is pretty good for the high seated, unseated team. Seated at 25th, but still somehow unseated. At least Portugal's one makes more sense. They're the lowest of the low seeds. Oh, and some uh, early drug usage from Portugal. I mean, it doesn't say in the tournament rules that this is disallowed, so I mean... That's true. Yeah, enjoy your triple cough. It's not like Peppy's going to come to your house and start testing you. Man, imagine if they did that. For, for general drugs. Official World Cup commentary, by the way. Yeah, very official and professional commentary. All right, let's get out there. The th All right, getting into the Philippines first pick, Del Rio. Mapped by West himself. I do yeah, feel I like Baby Snakes would be pretty comfortable on this, being a DDKK player. So those finishes are fine, and being a DT player as well. Yeah, a speed-oriented player as well. So this should be pretty comfortable. I think Del Rio is in an interesting place where it's not really great for lower seeded teams, but for higher seeded teams, it's actually pretty comfortable overall. Well, Portugal is off to a really good start right now. Both players are only sitting on, I think that's 1 100, so. Yeah, very solid accuracy so far. Actually, from all players, even though Pachaco is falling behind a little bit. Oh, uh, God. Oh. Costa Reno's miss has cost the stream its ears. Yeah, for every single future miss, it's just gonna start freezing up just to shame that player even more. Oh, that's that's cruel. I just imagine if it highlighted the player if you missed. But like it does, their name turns red briefly. Well, fair enough. Right, slow section. Bit easy to lose accuracy in this section. It's not too bad. It's in a couple of hundreds from Nero and Costa Arena. Yeah, it is only OD6, but the BPM really uh, can make or break your accuracy. As you can see, Philippines having slightly lower accuracy overall. Portugal doing quite well. Yeah, still got two FCs on the board, but... Uh, Baby Snake's act is just like a whole percent above Pachaco. Yeah, I think he's you at... You can really see it in this... He's at like one or two 100s right now. Uh, that looks like three to me. Oh, and another miss from Costa Reno. I'm kind of questioning this pick a little bit. I understand it in theory, but... Right, people hitting that uh, kind of tricky one third section. There's another one coming up, it's not as bad. It's still only about one miss difference, and oh. Well, I was gonna well, say that even though, but oh, no, never mind, I think it oh, did even out. Oh, oh Philippines god. can bring this back if they keep up the accuracy. Oh, oh my god. Am I, I gonna... think this section is a bit too dense for Costa Reno, and he can't hold it at oh the end. Oh my god, in Philippines right now, the unseated monsters. Dude, that last Kia was just too dense for Costa Reno and the score just flipped over. Made me eat my words. Wow, that was actually a great pick. And even though they lost, Baby Snakes was only three 100s. Dude, he beat the 1 mil score cap, the monster. The absolute monster. No, not like this, throw Reno. Well, they still do have a chance. I think maybe they could consider going for some of the modded picks. 
Hey, I'm a, I'm allowed to say that because last year there was a Portuguese meme that uh, Costa Reno was throw a Reno because instead of practicing the pool, he was busy playing Pokemon. <laughs> Likely story. Is that is that what happened? Apparently. Oh boy. Well, at the very least, you didn't do that badly on the map. All things considered. It is difficult. Yeah, Especially that at the ending is like, pretty dead. Really dead. Well, it's Portugal's pick now. Yeah, they're kind of at an awkward spot where I don't think their actually is significantly better than the Philippines. And on the harder maps, I don't think they have an absolutely clear-cut advantage on it. But I don't think uh, Fremont would be an awful idea right now. Maybe they could try to leverage some mod advantage from Baby Snakes going hit hard rock. Yeah, I'm uh, not really sure what Portugal can even fit. I think Nostalgic wouldn't be awful. Because I don't know if Pachaco really plays in hard rock. And I think they could go uh, hit hard rock and maybe hard rock on Portugal's side. Possible. Baby Snakes does have the act for it. And hopefully they will end up picking a map. Oh yes. Or any map. Shoutouts to uh, the referees when they get to just randomize the list to randomly pick a map because the team takes two. Yeah. Alright, Portugal Radio Silent right now. They're just thinking really hard about the next pick. I mean, they are down two points against uh, the unseed team, which should be the one that they are... Uh, they should be winning again. No mod SS. Okay, so that would be LaFruit Defender. Defender. Defender? Man, these names are weird. Alright, no mod SS is no mod 2, I assume. And the... Walter... Ugh! Oh, sorry, I choked. And Walter, understandably confused. What are you choking for? You're not in the match. <laughs> Fair enough. You know, it's early in the morning, I gotta eat my fruits. Wait, catch World Cup flashback? Wow, first we had a Arabian <laughs> Rave night, and now, no. You're a Jai. Somebody said your voice is a Dolph. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either, but thank you very much. Alright, so how many SS's do you think we'll see? One. I'll go for two. I, I say one very confidently. I don't know why. Or actually... Maybe zero. Quite possibly. I mean, okay, if Baby Snakes can get three 100s on Del Rio, they can definitely SS this. Yeah, that's a fair point. But there's always the issue of nerves. Do snakes see nah snakes have nerves. I don't know what the snake nervous system is like. I need I need an anatomical lesson. I'm no biologist. Animal biologist. Alright, I'm having a look of the the uh, snake CNS. This is the really important stuff that we're doing right now. Oh very interesting. And right now, Portugal having an early accuracy lead. Still way too early to tell, but on a map like this, 1 100 is actually quite a lot. Yeah, this is definitely the accuracy oriented pick. Oh, but 
an early miss too. There's not a yeah. huge difference. Yeah, that still puts Costa Rina's accuracy higher than Nero right now. Even a particularly large accuracy drop could still sweep you back to Portugal. Yeah, still with the two double S's from Pachaco and Baby Snakes, the scores are pretty stable. Gonna have to see quite a bunch of 100s or a Mizden Baby Snakes, well, what was that? <laughs> that well, was probably the most random miss I've ever seen. It, it is now zero SS's, it has officially happened. So, no commentator curse. But there are a lot of commentator coincidences. Yeah, Philippines is looking really good right now. Hopefully, because curse and doesn't exist, hopefully there's no chokes at the end that give uh... Portugal the left. Oh, I'm not even Oh, worried. you're safe, you're safe. Not even phased. <laughs> you're safe for now. And right now, Portugal actually looking like the underdogs. Look at that, two 100s from both Pachaco and Baby Snakes and Costa Rica. Costa Rino. But... Yeah, they're just seeing misses on the Portuguese side. And the worst accuracy coming from Nero. And it's not even bad accuracy. Yeah, a bit of a rough pick on um, no mod SS from Portugal there. Well, there was an S and an S, but unfortunately it was not from Portugal. <laughs> True that. Thanks to that laugh. That one small pity laugh. It's just the... Thanks, janitor. I can't. I can't, I can't, I cannot. <laughs> yeah, we got a double S and a double A. We, we half-step mania in this match. <laughs> what are the Philippines gonna go with? Please, ebb and flow. Oh, not that difficulty, obviously. Yeah. Uh, I see I see an Eager and Willow coming. Uh maybe. Unless Nero, of course, is just strictly not a hard rock player, in which case that's kind of rough with Pichaco. Yeah. So I think since we're almost out of nomads and the last nomad I think is a bit more favored for Portugal. I was going to say nostalgic. I swear to God, I was going to say uh, nostalgic. You mentioned nostalgic earlier, so I'll give you a point. All right, all right. So we're going to have Nero switching out for Rimazi. It's actually pretty surprising that even with the unseated teams this year, they still have a sizable enough roster to make a lot of strategic switches. Yo, can I get a yeet in the chat for acupuncture? Also, that's a really <laughs> cool Twitch name, I'm not gonna lie. It's just a shame that your name is based on dodgy pseudoscience, but I digress. <laughs> well, it's alright, if it sounds cool. Oh no, the Yates have started. Oh no, what have you brought? What curse have you brought upon this sacred land? Look at this curse you have brought upon this sacred land. This is cursed land. Oh Jai, what are you gonna do? Nido King is taking back his mutual request off. Yeah, and he called me a nerd. Yeah, oh. imagine that. Well, I am a nerd. Imagine but... getting called a nerd by a convert player. <laughs> You're a Nido King, why didn't you map pull select for the convert tourney? Or play in the convert tourney. Like you would have been the like one of the only knowledgeable people there. I heard that there are some uh, things going on with that tourney. Uh 
Oh, yeah. And a slight update for the other match. Uh, currently, China is up 3 2. I just want to see the mods here. Okay, there we go. The mods double are finally hit. showing now. Oh, no, not double hit hard rock. I'm Everyone's just going, going hard, hard rock. rock. I'm kind of surprised, but not really. Because basically they're all hard rock players. But I think this map's actually easier on hidden. Uh, you're probably right with 195 BPM, and there's also that SP increase. Uh, there's also OD 6.5, which is not too bad in Hard Rock, but and I just find myself preferring uh, Hidden for those kinds of things. Yeah, I was just gonna say on this on the width of this client, Hard Rock just looks so cool. Yeah, it looks so fast. What's not looking so fast is the progress of this map right now. It's just making sure that uh, you can see each individual node that's being played. Oh, oh. Rumors, what are you doing? Well, I mean, if it's a DC, they'll race. Hopefully we don't have a DC. Or maybe hopefully we do have a DC. So they get to it's, start it's really again? A... Yeah. Yeah, I think we are restarting. Or no? Or not? Question mark? Oh, Philippines with an impressive... Nope, not anymore. Well, Philippines, down by quite a few points. Rimezi has just escaped this Earth's atmosphere for the fourth time. Yep. Well, you know, Pachago is pretty good at Hard Rock, but I don't know if, if, he, I don't know if he's that good. Man, 2v1 carries the dead. Yeah, I don't think they were ever really alive in V1 anyways. Oh man, I'm looking at you, Perth again, Yamba Bomb Remix HD. <laughs> that was a pick. Alright, so I'm not too sure what's going to be done. That will restart. Oh, yep. And Rimazi is going to have to fend off the ketchup bottle. Alright. Man, this song is making me feel nostalgic. It's like I just heard it. Yeah, I know. Feeling mad nostalgia from when I banned it four hours ago. <laughs> Sorry, Nato. This is kind of turning out to be uh, one of the least favorites of the pool so far. What's the word I'm looking for? Oh, one of the long most maps. Long maps, disgusting. TV size or bus. Yeah, if it's not one minute or less, I want my money back. I mean, there is a medal for like... Oh, I forgot what the medal is called. So, like, there's literally a medal for playing a map that's less than 30 seconds. Oh, I think I remember that, but I've never really been much of a medal hunter. Shoutouts to medal hunters. Yeah, all three of them. Oh, but they, they do do, they do God's work. Well, at the very least, Portugal can't really complain about uh, the Philippines taking too long. <laughs> True. Well, we might be here for a while, so, um, what's going on, Jai? How's it going? Uh, nothing much. You know, Australia. Very, uh, Australian. Yeah, very overrated team. Yeah, super overrated team. They're pretty overrated. Extremely overrated. Yes, quite so. Oh, and as a slight update for the other ongoing match, uh, France is currently up four to two against Switzerland. Oh, Switzerland, we putting up a fight. 
Yeah, Switzerland also, I think, the only other team with two players. Yeah, and one of the four newcomers uh, to the World Cup. Yeah, doing quite well as well. For some odd reason, the two unseeded teams with only two players both have one very good player. Look at that, China and Sweden are 3-2 right now. That's mad. China is actually really good. China are back, like, since maybe 2015. It's been a while. It has. I think they were very briefly in 2017, but didn't really make it past group stages. We, d we don't talk about that. Yeah. That is forbidden knowledge. Oh, right, right. Uh, it's not forbidden to say that they weren't in round of 16. Yeah, I, they had Japan in their group, I remember. That was fun. Yeah, that's... that's just not nice. Alright, so we'll be swapping now to France versus Switzerland, who are actually playing uh, Classic Pursuit again. Yeah, apparently a B-Sod happened. Well, I mean, it do be like that. It happens sometimes. And there is a mod advantage for France, but it's not the be-all and end-all. It's definitely not the end for Switzerland. So this map is, like, it's kind of tricky with Hidden, it's kind of tricky with Hard Rock, and Yona doesn't care, apparently. Yeah, it is really tricky with Hidden Hard Rock, especially because of all the speed-ups. Oh. Uh, Janitor, apparently you're a gear. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. What's my what's my gear? Uh, you're very gear. Yeah. Boy, right now. Oh man, this ultra widescreen makes Hard Rock look so cool. Yeah. I wonder if anyone actually plays Hard Rock on this kind of resolution. Uh, HDHR players probably do. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Actually, right now, the axes are pretty even overall. Oh, well, I mean, they were when I was looking at it before, but... Now, uh, axe advantage towards France. Yeah, France is actually doing really well. These accuracies above 90... almost both above 99. And definitely shout out to Yona. Even though uh, they missed, they still have a pretty ridiculous axe on Hidden Hard Rock. Well, Axie is still good. Uh, I don't know what Weeb was doing there, but that was a bit of a slight. Yeah, I think they were slightly confused for a second. Could just be lag spikes. Wouldn't be the first time in this group stage that's happened. Yeah, technical issues are always uh, not a good thing. But so far, this pick seems like it's pretty solid for France. Yeah, they have a massive lead, 120k. Uh, they're gonna take this map. I think they'll be safe. Though definitely shout out to Switzerland, though. Yet again, another unseeded team taking two points away from the high seed team. Are they on? I feel like they're low. I think they were unseeded because they only had two people, right? But like, no, never mind. They're low a monster. Seed. Yeah, they are low seed. They are low seed. France, you did it. Good job, France. Yeah, oh. I wonder what's happening with Philippines and Portugal. They sort of just vanished. Well, that, is a that is a forbidden MP. Oh, oh I don't want oh, so what's going have, on. Uh, we have the Camellia remix of Classic Pursuit. Oh, that was a nice intro. Wow, that was... that was great. Oh, and we have Igamoyos. 
Alright, well, someone's playing, but I'm not sure who. I think this is the China-Sweden match. That would make sense. Oh, and they're actually 3-3. Is... Three, three. Wow, Wilbin Chan doing really well on this. This is definitely not easy on hidden. Dude, I'm telling you, China is such a strong unseeded team this year. It's crazy. I really didn't expect them to do this well, but taking points from basically every single team they've come across. Yeah, I mean, Sweden only has three players, and we're basically going to be seeing Rafalge and Seb for all of them, so, you know, right. Seb's hidden weakness is really showing right now. Yeah, his accuracy not the greatest, but it seems like his consistency isn't too bad, it's just that he's having a little bit of trouble with, uh... Wow, China yeah. actually up a point. It's 4-3, China is doing it. We could actually have a tiebreaker, and wow, Wilbin Chan with three 100s? That is crazy. That actually is probably a better performance than you'll see from some of the players on top seed teams even. Yep, I can agree with that. C for China. Yeah, it's a little bit rough. His map gave Seb the poop, poor guy. <laughs> oh, Penn said tiebreaker, it's not gonna happen now. Jinx is it every year. Yeah, hopefully we'll actually have a tiebreaker and not just 5-3. I believe. All right, well, at least it is Sweden's pick, so they have a bit of an advantage to try and get this tiebreak. Yeah, just imagine if uh, Moe 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 was actually playing for China. Oh, jeez, I haven't heard that name in so long. I, I still remember him. One of two people. Oh, and I think they're picking, is that Gypsy Tronic or is that Shirley? Oh, that is Gypsy Tronic. Surely it's not Shirley. Surely it's Gypsy yeah. Tronic. Surely. Sure. Okay, well, I mean, China's already played a match before, so Sweden has a bit of insight knowledge and. You know, they would have seen how China did on this map uh, against Australia, so it could be a good pick. <laughs> it's definitely a pretty accuracy-oriented pick. And I think... Oh, sorry, go. Nah, ne never mind. Just very spiteful remarks about how Australia <laughs> lag spiked on this map and then lost to China. Oh. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. That was pretty painful fun. for uh, my team. Fun. Entertain. Yeah, man, that's tough. Yeah, you know, the lag spikes, they happen. Well, I think I'd actually go as far as to say that this is one of the hardest maps in the pool. Uh, yeah, I could see that. Some of the streams are a little bit weird with a bit unconventional patterns and some strange offhands. And apparently, a uh, slight update. Philippines did end up winning uh, Nostalgic against Portugal. Oh, so that'll make it 4 0 to them. Jeez. Portugal having yeah. a bit of a rough time against the unseeded. Philippines and China showing just how far unseeded teams can go. Right now, we're Falch being the real star of this match. The highest accuracy in the room. 
You're trying to keep up that 99. Jasmine's getting close to it. But we're gonna go into the longer streams now. Oh, I'm gonna find any misses. So close. Yeah, just a, uh, an unfortunate earlier miss from Seb is like really costing um, the Swedish team, right? There's still one really hard team. Oh, that was a very unfortunate break. Yeah, that that's a six flat. That's that's not nice. And right now the gap is ever widening, but there's still one very difficult stream left. And this is what happens when Penn says all oh, tiebreaker soon. Yeah, that's why you have to never mention it. China yeah, everybody, everybody just hit map. that. Everyone just hit that long stream. This isn't changing for China, and they're gonna take the match. What in the, the un world? The unseeded team taking a victory over Sweden with two FCs on Gypsy. Wow, that is pretty ridiculous. That is out of all a the matches, big fog. Out of all the kind of matches where I expected three full combos on Gypsy Tronic, it would not have been the one for unseated and uh, the low seated team fighting it out. China number one. Man, and like, oh man, Rafage played so well in that map and it wasn't enough. Yeah, when you have two full combos at pretty high accuracy, it gets pretty difficult to manage. And oh, we're here back. we go. Oh, we've returned. Man, it's been a trip around the globe. We've, we've returned to Sanpo Michi. And I see Black Pet for the first time for Portugal in this tournament. And Rumazi is back. Hopefully, there are no more B sod issues. I think they'll be okay. Or I hope they're going to be okay. Oh, I'm seeing client lag already. This doesn't bode well. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Oh, and even in the first few notes, you can tell who doesn't really want to play this. Uh, yeah, um, Philippines not looking too hot right now with that ad. And Baby Snakes is just president sleepering through this. Yeah, you can kind of tell why they banned the other hidden. I mean, yeah, Igamoyas is hidden. It's, I mean, it's difficult for different reasons, but it's still hidden. Yeah, if you have trouble reading hidden, then... Honestly, Sampo Michi might be the easier of the two, depending on what you struggle with. Oh, Baby Snake's the king, he's single tapping. Doesn't even care about full ultimate, is that? Nah, it's, a, it's only 240 BPM, it's easy. Uh, if there's anyone who would single tap the whole map, it would be him. And this guy will single tap 300, because why not? Oh no, Rimazi, don't do this. Okay. Oh, I think we're safe. Oh, Pachaka finding a miss on that six plat. Uh, yeah, that's a rough one. And Portugal looking to take their first point of the match against the top seeded, unseeded Philippines. Yeah, just having a few troubles reading the slow hitting. Yeah, even Black Pet is doing decently. Pachaka actually has the lowest score in the room right now. That's crazy. Yeah. Though an upshot of that is that Rima Z actually doing fairly well on this. Yeah, but there's a 100k score gap. Portugal is slaying yeah. this right now. Yeah, outside of a disconnect, I think Portugal has this for their first point. And at this point, I think you can actually start cheering for Portugal as the underdogs. Not a sweep, boys. In the words of Mew104, slippers are off the table.
Hopefully it won't end up uh, 5-1 again. We've been seeing a lot of those. All right, but it's going to be the Philippines pick on match points. It's a bit dangerous. Yeah, hopefully they're going to be able to close this out. Or maybe not, hopefully. And Portugal actually manages to bring it back to tiebreaker. Oh, dear. No, you said tiebreaker now. It's not happening. Oh, right, right. Sorry. I hope they don't go to tiebreaker. I am fully expecting Eager and Willow to get picked at some time. Yeah, I think that's a pretty fair assumption. Safe Hot assumption. Go, hard Rock God. I mean, Baby Snakes is no slouch either. Oh, they went for NM1. Well, that's the whole no mod pool out the way. Oh. That's... Interesting. It's actually kind of surprising. I can see that... I mean... Would you even consider this map tech? I guess it's the techiest map in the pool. I think I'd consider it tech, compared to everything else. And it does have a few kind of weird patterns. An unconventional 1-6. Well, I mean, in a sense, this is like Le Fruit Defender. There's there's high SS potential, so Philippines won that one, so, you know, they can win this one. Yeah, there's definitely a shot at it, but right now, uh, Philippines showing themselves to be at the very least even, if not superior, in terms of overall accuracy. Tech SS, yeah, like Defender was no mod SS. All right, buddy, <laughs> let's let's see the good. Show me the nine 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 nine. Well, when he said uh, no mod SS for fruit, he ended up missing. So hopefully yeah. we won't have another curse again. All right, here we go. Samamadar. Gonna see a switch on the Portuguese side, and for Philippines, Nero is gonna come back in, and Costa Rino, Thrower Rino, is gonna come back. <laughs> That's just an unfortunate nickname. Hey, the Portuguese gave it to him, it's their fault. Well, sometimes, uh, you know, making fun of your teammates is a good way to build up some camaraderie. Yeah, it happens all the time in Australia. By all the time, it's mostly just Jai picking on everyone because he's a bully. Oh yeah, I'm just the worst bully. Nah, fun times. It's all it's all in good fun. It's all in good fun. Yeah, if you if you know how to take your team not too seriously and have fun, you'll probably play better too. Yeah, it's nice to uh, kind of break down your nerves a little bit. That's probably not the best term to use for it, but. Uh, easing, Break down easing your nerves. nerves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds a bit more violent than I would have liked. It sounds like a nervous breakdown. Oh no, I've just referenced P8107. What is, what is <laughs> happening? I'm kind of surprised that we haven't seen uh, Enwolf's P8107 in a pool. It, it has been in a tournament before. Yeah. I can say that for certain. Maybe saving it up for a uh, round of 16 double time. Uh, yeah, it'd be a good double time pick, actually. Alright, early miss from Costa Rino, but uh, still higher act than Nero, so it's not too bad for the Portuguese side. Yeah, it's not down by too much, but right now Pachaco, having the highest accuracy in the room. And Baby Snake showing us why this is Tech SS. <laughs> yeah, doing very well on the Tech SS map. I mean, scores are pretty stable right now. We're gonna have to see some misses on one weird one yeah. six, and there we go. There that's not go. even one of the weird. That's not even one of the weirder ones. So I fear for the Portuguese score if Costa Rino is gonna miss on stuff like. That. Ooh, I think right now he's just maybe uh, has a bit of nerves going into this map. I mean, it is match point and not their pick. It's a bit rough. Yeah.
Yeah, Philippines doing really well right now. Pachaco still with 99.69. Philippines. And Baby Snakes is right behind. But Philippines it's not is. Ah, uh, sorry. Philippines is not playing like an unseated team right now. Oh, Philippines is about to pull a China on this pseudo Sweden. Yeah, look at that. Still 30k score difference. There's still a couple of weird patterns. Even though Costa Arena is act is higher than Nero, I'm I'm seeing a couple of misses. It's definitely not over yet, but we're going to have to see something happen soon. Yeah, it's going to have to happen like right now. Like by the time it gets to the last two one six, it's too late. Maybe if someone tanks like the entirety of the last five seconds. All right, here we go. Here's the weird section. Wow, Everyone's gonna hit it. A double full combo from the Philippines. Yeah, and even an SC from Baby Snakes, but it wasn't enough. Yeah. Seven one hundreds from Pachaco, nine ninety k. Really impressive. And that's gonna give them the match. Very well played by the Philippines and Portugal as well, but really just shows how strong all the teams have gotten now. Yeah, Nero too getting an FC, being a nice second man for Pachaco. Well played. All the teams are just looking terrifying this year. And that's two two unseeded teams uh, now taking a victory. This is excellent. It's amazing. I wonder how they'll fare against uh, Germany later on. Uh, it's just absolute proof that while memes are good, uh, they don't win new matches. <laughs> At the very least, they had the best warm-up so far in group stages. Yeah, Dama to Casita. 7.3 star, beautiful. Yeah, and also apparently uh, 30 minutes in length. Oh yeah, that, that happened too. Oh, and we have an early preview of the bracket. Oh, nice. I didn't even know this was here, secretly hidden to the left of the bracket. I didn't know either. Yeah, today I learned. Yeah, we got some pretty cool looking matches coming up. Italy versus Brazil, Finland and the UK. Oh, Netherlands and Venezuela is something I, I want to see, a battle of the lower team. Yeah, I think that might actually end up being pretty close. any matches that you're uh, looking forward to later? Oh, well, I mean, I did just mention Italy and Brazil. I've... Yeah. I mean, it'll be... Oh, jeez, 2 a.m. Nah, we're staying up for that. That's uh, going to be a good... Yeah, I, a bit harsh. I, I, I've got to see my boys New Zealand play. Even if it's against the high seed Chile, i gotta, I got to see. Yeah, I think... I don't know, I don't think they're going to do uh, awfully. They have a chance. Yeah, but it's uh, an hour away from any of the matches, so we're going to take a break, and uh, you're going to have different commentators when we return, so... I guess thanks for having us. Um, it's been a great start to the Taiko World Cup group stage so far. I look forward to future matches. Yeah, the match, the matches will only get better as the rounds go on. Still I mean, some exciting yeah, matches left. We've already seen two unseeded take a win. An unseeded got three points against the top seed. Man, this is great. I'm really looking forward. To yeah, I just absolutely can't wait for something like China versus Poland, especially. Anyway, as I mentioned, we're going to take a break. So I've been Janitor with Jai, and uh, remember, rhythm is just click away. <laughs>